Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're back at Disneyland. Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about pins. Well, actually, pin trading. I don't know if you guys knew this, but pin trading returned to the Disneyland Resort. So I think for that reason, we're going to be pin trading today. I've done a video like this in the past, but I think it'd be fun to, to redo a video like that. And uh, I, I brought this one here for my tiny little collection. I don't really collect uh, pins, but I decided to bring uh, one of the ones that I had an extra of, so I brought this child one. So let's go ahead and uh, pin trade this around Disneyland. It's funny because I actually bought this pin here from Star Traders before Disneyland closed. So I've had it in one of my drawers this whole time, so it's kind of cool to bring it back and, you know, pin trade it. <laughs> Alright, so for starters, I got rid of the, the cardboard backing because we're not going to be needing that. We're going to be pin trading it. I'm very curious to see like what's changed as far as like pin trading because I know uh, I've heard in Orlando over there I think you got to put your old pin in a box and then they'll have like the sanitized pins on the board and then that's the ones you choose from. So I'm kind of curious to see if it's anything like that over here but we'll definitely find out. In the last pin trading video I made I think we started off in Tomorrowland but I think today we're going to start off in the complete opposite side which is over here in Frontierland. So we're currently in front of Westward Ho Trading Co. Apparently you can buy pins here but you don't trade here you can actually trade outside the little cart next to it. So I just spoke to the customer and she just told me it's basically the same way it was before where you would just choose the pin you want and then swap yours out for it. And then that's it, just keep going. <laughs> so I think we're gonna go with this one. This one looks pretty cool. So take this one, put it on the side. And then we're gonna put the one I brought for this video. Put it down right here in the, right there. Thank you. So here's a better look at the one we got. I actually Googled it. This is a 2013 Hidden Mickey Duffy hat. You can see the little Hidden Mickey right there. That was pretty, uh, that was pretty painless, honestly. Like it was, it was even swap. Uh, I think you can swap up to two times on, on the same board. But now we're gonna go ahead and head to like a different land or different area and find another spot to pin trade. So I think our next stop is gonna be Galaxy's Edge. I'm really curious to see if they do pin trading on Batu. All right guys, we just got to Galaxy's Edge and I think we're gonna head to the, uh, the marketplace. Maybe they'll know about uh, pin trading there. So on Galaxy's Edge, they sell pins here and as well over here at the uh, like little carts near Rise of the Resistance. But spoke to a cast member and they said they don't do pin trading in Batu. So sadly, so just in case you guys are trying to pin trade, don't come to Batu. Just save your time, go somewhere else. How awesome is that? Look, Jack Sparrow's out right now. So we're gonna head to Port Royal. Curios and Curiosities and see if they do pin trading here. So they actually do pin trading here. You just gotta ask one of the cast members and they'll help you out with that. They keep the, the pins to trade in this little hollowed out buck. So this is the pin that we recently got. And we're gonna trade it for, I think we'll go with the Mickey hand. Thank you. You're welcome. So here's a closer look at the pin we just got of Mickey's hand. It's pretty cool. I was actually thinking about going with the aerial, but then I was like, ah, I'll go with Mickey's hand. So let's see what we get next. But as you guys can see, pin trading is like super easy. Nothing's changed. Just if you don't feel comfortable like touching one of like the, I guess the used pins, you can say, uh, just bring like, like a wet one or something and just sanitize it yourself. So we're in the neighborhood of Pirates of the Caribbean, the ride, and you guys know it's my favorite. And the wait time is 30 minutes, but they say it's a lot faster than that, so we're gonna go ahead and get on it. Really 
such a good ride as always. And to be honest, like that 30 minute wait was actually like a 10 minute wait. It didn't take long at all until we actually got on the ride, so it wasn't too bad. I did get soaked though, I don't know why my left arm got completely wet, but, but uh, it was actually refreshing because it's kind of hot out. Next area up for pin trading is Adventureland Bazaar. All right, so for this store, you just go to the register and they already have like this little box open and then you gotta take a look at the different pins they have here. That 2017 one with, I think it's Donald, looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that one. So you put this one aside. And then you put the Mickey hand there. Pretty cool. Here's a closer look at the pin we got right now from Adventureland Bazaar. This pin has seen better days. It's not even like shiny like it used to be. <laughs> but it is from 2017, so it's got some age to it already. What got my attention mainly was the, the, the colors on it. It's really nice. So I think now we're gonna head to Tomorrowland and see what kind of pins we find over there. Aww. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> so over here at Little Green Men's Store Command, there's literally a sign out front that says pin trading. So let's go ahead and go in there and see what kind of pins they have. Whoa, they have a lot of pins in here. Check these out. So far, the one that's like getting my eye is the Mickey Mouse with the pencil. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so this one we got. This one's really nice. This one's gonna hurt to trade. <laughs> so I asked the customer instead of store command if they do pin trading over here at the Star Trader, but she said she doesn't know, so we're gonna go and ask just to make sure. So I just want to confirm, the Star Trader does not do pin trading. You have to go to Store Command, which is the other store I just came from. So I know this is really random to the video I'm currently making about pin trading, but I was passing by Star Wars Launch Bay, and I guess there's a Disney Visa card member exclusive photo experience from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. So I kind of want to go see what that is. So here's what that photo op looks like. So this is in front of Launch Bay, it's not inside of it. And you do have to be a Visa card uh, holder. So it's pretty cool though, I'm glad that they do this for uh, for Visa card holders. So we made it to it's a small world toy shop and we're gonna see if they do pin trading here. So apparently they don't do uh, pin trading over here at the toy shop, but they pointed me in the right direction to where they do. So if you are in Fantasyland and you wanna pin trade, you can come to this newly reopened store, uh, apparently opened two days ago. You can come to La Petite Chalet, I think I'm saying that right, I hope. Uh, I guess they do pin trading here. So let's check out our options. So here are the options. There's some pretty good ones at this uh, this shop. Uh, in between the 2015 and the Mickey and Pluto. Uh, let's go with the 2015. So there's a closer look at the pin we just got. So it's 2015. It's got Minnie Mouse, those pretty cool shades. <laughs> it's a nice pin. And just in case you don't know where that shop is that we were just at, it's right across from Storybook Land. Well, we just made it back to the front of the castle. And we've already pin traded in Fantasyland, Tomorrowland, Adventureland, and Frontierland. We tried Galaxy's Edge, they don't do it over there. And uh, I think the last place we're gonna try is Main Street. We're gonna find at least one spot in Main Street that does pin trading. And then I think we'll end the video there. So first place we're gonna try is Main Street Photo Supply Co. All right, so when you pin trade in here, you can choose two at random, and then uh, they'll show you what pins inside. So I think we're gonna go with Eric and we'll go with hmm we'll go with Aladdin. Sure. Oh. Prince Ali. Prince Ali, sorry. That's okay. Uh, we'll go with this one. Okay. Oh, you need the backing too. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. So here's a closer look at the pen we just got. I actually had a Google it. I have no idea what this is. So online it says that it was released September 20th, 2013. And that it's Gideon Goat. Yeah. I'm not a pin person at all, so I would have never guessed that. But anyways, I learned a lot today. I'm not gonna lie, I learned a lot about pins today. <laughs> uh, they're fun to trade. And uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.